Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be diving down into the charts to take a look at VeChain to see what's been going on most recently with the price action of VET. As we get into this video if you do find it useful and informative hit the like button I really do appreciate that and if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe. Tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you are going to be kept up to date with all the videos that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Right with all of that out of the way let's jump on down and get right into the charts here and see what is going on with VeChain. Okay, we're going to start things off, guys, with our hourly chart. We're going to be talking about why I am expecting a slight pullback here and where I think it's going to land. And um, before actually building up into the larger time frames and starting to talk about what I think is most probable uh, in the next kind of little while. Now, as you can see, we can start to see this kind of pullback here. The stochastic RSI is actually coming down quite nicely. We're actually losing a lot of momentum here, um, which is fantastic. So um, this low point doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be hit anytime soon. Um, so what do we have actually going on here? So as you can see, we've got this little set of uh, red candles here set in lower lows and um, lower highs at the same time, right? Quite uh, bearish. Now, what you also have is the volume just dropping off like a uh, off the cliff as well this basically means that um although you know we are pulling back a little just here with that volume decreasing we're able to wipe this stochastic rsi out very very quickly meaning that we're going to be heading right the way down here into this oversold area and without actually doing too much damage to the price which is going to be meaning that we're holding up quite nicely here and does it mean that this low uh, c wave target of 5.1 cent is uh, is not going to happen it's invalid no not yet um, in order for that to happen we would actually have to move up quite significantly let me grab hold of my horizontal ray here uh, we'd have to push up to about 6.4 cent OK, and um, so to invalidate this low point, we would have to go higher than 6.462. OK, so that's quite a climb for VeChain right now. And considering the volumes, they aren't really there. Um, and obviously, we haven't had a real definitive um, you know, move down. We've had this kind of really short ABC inside this larger move. And um, so we are expecting this to kind of be a bit choppy here on this kind of continuation. And the other thing we have to kind of bear in mind is the similarities of this move uh, with ones that we had previously. We moved up, we went sideways, we then moved up. We've come down, we've gone sideways. This is a continuation pattern. More than likely, we are going to come back down. Um, so yeah, we just want to be a little bit cautious of that. It's not going to happen just yet. So we obviously have a little bit of time. So let's actually do some subwave counting here and see what's going on. We obviously have an ABC here with an A, B, C down, A, B, C up. So this looks like an A wave down with a B wave still to come up and then a C wave down lower. And um, so, you know, I don't th expect us to go lower than our A wave just here. Um, just yet, I do think we are likely to have this wave, but I think we are likely to see this pull back a little bit. So let me just show you what I'm seeing here. Um, we effectively have an A, B and C here in this white line and we have another one just inside here so um we've got this real small a b and c now that's actually an impulsive move that got invalidated and uh, we won't really talk about those they happen quite a bit on the hourly chart it's why well, it's not the best chart to do this on but uh there we go there's our abc up shorter actually it should have gone higher but we fell um up here and um, there's a bit of resistance um so again you know we've uh, we've got the reversal now we are tracking an a wave down um, and there's a couple of ways you could look at this. This could be an A, B, and C, but I don't think that's necessarily right. Um, I think we are more than likely going to be looking at like an A, a B, and a C um, to that effect. Um, but you know, again, we could be uh, wrong on that one. Um, it could literally be um, as small as this, and it's just completing now. Um, the problem is that stochastic RSI is only about halfway through. So um, I would anticipate that we'd end up with uh, this actually being an A wave, a small bump up, and then a further wave down. Then we actually end up with this nice quick kind of re reversal. Again, you know, we can go higher than this point. Um, as long as we do not go higher than uh, 6.4, then our C wave is still valid. But obviously, the higher that we go here, so if we go higher than 5.9, the higher our C wave target also goes. OK, so it doesn't mean it comes all the way down here. We constantly reevaluate the low point. Um, but it does look like we are just trading sideways um, for the most part. And um, we could effectively be looking at uh, some kind of zigzag on a slightly larger time frame, um, like the four hourly chart, for example. And I'm just going to remove these so we kind of have an idea of what is going on there. Um, so yeah, on the hourly chart here, we are looking okay for continuation, but do be aware that this is a bit of a bear flag um, to a degree. I hate using these kind of terminologies um, because sometimes they kind of get blown out of our proportion a little bit. Um, but we do have some interesting kind of levels of support here on an upward trend line. Um, but again, pole, flag, 
drop down. This is just the continuation pattern as I see it, um, unless proven otherwise by going higher than for 6.4 cent. Okay. Um, so for now, we obviously have that. I would anticipate that this B wave actually pushes up a little way higher. And we haven't had a, a huge amount of, uh, of a bounce here. So let's actually just measure the bouncing uh, as well. So we get an idea, right? If we actually come up to the 618, uh, right here about 6.1 uh, that's also a good place to reverse to and if that is the case then our um, our C wave low actually comes up to 5.3 rather than 5.1 okay so I'm going to leave it there for now um, but I do anticipate this just being a bit of a sideways trade a bit of a zigzag um, but again I could be wrong on that so I just open that up to the floor there to make sure that we're all aware of the invalidation points and what would have to happen in order to not see this low come in of course I think there's a high probability that the further lows are due and um, the daily stochastic RSIs are a good indication of this they've still got quite a way to go um, so let's jump into the four hourly chart and again just review what that stochastic RSI is doing again it's right down here as the oversold this is actually promoting a bit of a more of a bounce to the upside so again um, you know we can see that but the volumes guys they are really decreasing no one's really participating just here so this stochastic rsi just like we had with our hourly chart right um can come down very fast our four hourly chart can go up very fast if there is no volume coming in to support uh, that moving up right so again watch out for this this could move pretty rapidly um, and, and actually help us move this price down rather than moving up um, but let's be objective about it you know 5.1 is actually not too bad um, and we're practically there anyway at 5.6 of course invalidation is slightly higher this being 6.4 cents so be mindful that although we have a stochastic RSI going up here or has plenty of room to grow into I should say um, the volumes are dropping if the volumes do not increase this is going to continuously steadily rise up um, without actually doing too much to the price in the same way that we are seeing the hourly stochastic rsi move down uh, without doing too much damage to the price this is basically continuation and uh, when you see a continuation pattern we have to know the trend that was leading into it and um, because basically trend coming in continuation continuation of the trend beforehand means the more downside um so be aware of that um over there now on the eight hourly we also oversold so this does promote uh, a bit of a push to the upside and a bit of a bounce we haven't really seen too much of a bounce as i said um we could potentially move up a little way before we actually start seeing um some decent uh, kind of pullback to kind of level out the c wave here um again you know plenty of room to grow but the volumes are still decreasing so we need to be very very mindful over that um that the volume came in uh, on the way down it didn't really come back in to push the price up at least not yet um obviously interesting things going on in the us so maybe that's going to have an impact on it you never know um and obviously as i said earlier at the daily chart we are looking for a bounce to the upside really on our daily chart we've kind of seen um this huge kind of pull back here uh, in, in the sense of um, you know these set of red candles but we haven't actually seen a, a definitive wave to the upside or a b wave right so if all of this is one big a wave which is very possible right that this is just an a wave down we need that b wave which is what i've been talking about on the uh the smaller time frames and then we obviously pull back down into that c wave lower um and again you know this is the the entire measurement that we've been looking at just easier to see it on our daily chart here as we got this set of red candles the daily stochastic rsi has a lot of room to correct to it's about halfway through and um, being about halfway on this uh, stochastic rsi and price chart yeah it kind of gives me that idea of 5.1 actually coming in um and again you know all of these things they they build up into the larger time Time frame which is the weekly and the weekly is actually looking pretty good right um, obviously we had that low target down here of about 3.5 cent um, and that is fine we, we this is perfectly fine to have this just up here without going down lower and um, it does actually meet the requirements of a c wave it's just a shorter c wave than we were expecting um which isn't a bad thing it just means that you know accumulation has to happen slightly higher than down here and obviously this is whole thing is wave four right it's a wave four correction um so this actually then leads us up into the minimum requirement of uh, a 1.618 that actually comes in at just over one dollar one dollar um point two five of a, of a cent there um so it's an interesting kind of level there and obviously it's going to be lots of resistance on that journey but once it goes past the previous all-time high of um i think it was 28 cent or was it 27.9 cent um you know it's going to be into price discovery mode and this is the most um let's say the most probable but it's you know it's the the minimum requirement of a fifth wave here um so and again actually i can move that it's not quite if we, that is our low point there and we don't go down any lower 
um, it's actually 86 uh, point. 86.8 so just short of that dollar point okay and um, so we should be very very mindful over that um and okay so on the weekly chart the stochastic rsi is looking pretty good uh, lots of room to grow so again we've just been nicely correcting here this was a very much needed correction and you can see taking us from an overbought on our weekly to an oversold on the weekly the last time that this happened we were down here and we took it all the way up to there okay and obviously when we shoot back we can see down in the bottom of wave two or um this b wave all the way up to that all-time high was also a move on this stochastic RSI. Um, so on our weekly chart, we know that being right down here has led to very significant gains to be made on VeChain. So obviously we've been down here for quite some time, not too dissimilar time to what we have seen previously. Let me just tidy up the chart here um, and get rid of that one too. Um, what I'll do is I'll grab hold of my time range, my date range here, and we'll just measure. I mean, time is always the hardest thing to gauge. There's no guarantee of it. That was uh, effectively 70 days down there. Um, we have, uh, what have we got? We've got... 91 days there um, and of course we've been going for 70 days so far okay so if we were to think about this in terms of what is the most probable well 70 days 70 80 days 80 i'll call it 84 actually must have measured that incorrectly and over here uh, 91 days right so and um, we could be down here for a little bit longer 84 to 90 days that seems to be um, a couple more weeks and we kind of see this potentially moving on up right but timing is the hardest thing to gauge there's no guarantee of that um it is literally just an interesting observation on on the stochastic rsi um but ultimately you know everything's looking pretty good for v chain right the way down from our hourly chart uh we obviously are expecting some volatility here um but again this is not unexpected this is a fantastic accumulation zone hence it's in these yellow boxes these have been highlighted for quite some time previously um so again we are looking for a little bit lower. I do expect a little bit lower here. Um, but after that, I'm expecting a nice surge to the upside. Um, the stochastic RSIs have been um, you know, interesting. This one's getting wiped out quite fast. This one's rising up quite fast with drop in volume. Um, the eight hour is in a pretty good position. The daily is correcting, which is great. You need to see that corrected. The weekly is in a really good spot. Um, so ultimately, yeah, we should be in a pretty good spot over the next few weeks um, for VeChain to just kind of steadily start rising back up again. So this could be potentially um, one of the last opportunities to actually get into VeChain or to build and accumulate VeChain's VET token. Um, you know, that you might never actually see these levels again for quite a significant period of time. So guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you have found this video useful and, and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe? Tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you are going to be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With all of this said, done, and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all in the next one.